Hi YouTube, it's Kristen the Pink Paper Princess back to uh, share a couple more projects that I've made. I know I haven't been making videos, but I have been busy creating. I just, um, a lot of stuff going on, so I just had this pile that was growing on my desk, so I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. Um, here's a layout I made, and this is an older kit from my Create a Scrapbook before I became on the design team. Um, I really just need to make some more space in my scrapbook room. I have way too much stuff. I keep growing out of my spaces I'm at and I really just need to use some of my stuff. So this was a kit. Um, I did add some stuff. Like it was mostly a little yellow bicycle. Like all this stuff was a little yellow bicycle that came in the kit. And But I did add, um, this is where memory keeper stuff that I added. So um, let's just see, lots of layers. Nothing really spectacular here. A lot of layers of pattern paper, this chipboard sticker. The flowers were originally white, and I just ran an ink pad over the top of them. I don't even think, oh, it is titled Memories Made. This was actually from a pumpkin patch this year. So there's that. And then I made this, and I still need a journal. Um, I left this up here to journal, or maybe down here. Uh, my son found this leaf. He loves to find leaves that look like things. And this, he picked it up, and he's like, look, it's a heart-shaped leaf. So my very original title here is Heart Leaf. I just added a bunch of layers. Here's some banner pieces and chipboard. Um, these are some chipboard leaves from the collection. A rosette with a flower. Um, I added some washi tape. I guess I'm going to press my washi tape down better. More washi tape. So that's how that turned out. And then I did this layout, which I just love the way this layout turned out. And I did so little to it. Because on this piece of paper, this was all part of the paper. I added this paper, this paper, this paper. Um, and, you know, like the stickers. I added the splatters. Over here, I added this little embellishment cluster. And all those stickers, but um, I added this. I just love the way it turned out. You rock, turn it up, cool boy. And so I titled it My Cool Kid, and I add a little guitar. I just love that picture of him. So that's how that turned out. I really love the way that turned out. And this was for a uh, Sketchabilities uh, design team layout, which I did do my last one already, so I'm done with that. Um, I had a lot of fun, and the sketches were all just really cool. So, on this one, I really had a hard time with it because I originally had a different background. Um, I had all the cluster the same, but I just the background just wasn't working for me. So I found this in my stash. I don't even know who makes it or where it came from, but it really looked good with my kid's shirt. <laughs> so I went ahead and used it, and it really had to grow on me. Um, I had it all glued together and then I took it off and I added the circles and the splatters. And I just do these circles, I just take a little plate, a plastic or disposable plate, and I spray some mist on it and then I take a little cup and I kind of just rub it in the mist and then stamp it. And that's how I get that effect. And this is um, a Distress ink and I just jab it on the page. Just, you know, lots of little embellishments and clusters and details. So, that's how that turned out. I think this was Sketch 107. And then one of the other girls that um, teaches at the scrapbook store I work at, she had made a calendar kit. Um, so it had 12 layouts in it. And I went ahead and I got it because I like her pages and her style is very similar to mine. Now, um, I did add a lot to the pages and I changed it around some, but um, it's generally her idea. So this would have been a month that Father's Day, so June. Um, and it's Kaiser Craft, but I, like I said, I don't even remember what it originally looked like. I did add a lot, and I haven't added a picture to this yet, obviously, but... Um, I use my border punch there, and a lot of distressing and inking on this page. So that's how that turned out. And this would have been one of the summer months, and I did change this one a lot, and I, I added a lot. Like I added this and this. Um, lots of paper layers. I added one of these. These. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with these, but I just crumpled it up and put it on the page, because I love circles. And I added this, Summer Memories. Like I think this is, I'm not really sure what, this might be Fancy Pants. 
that's how that turned out. Not again, a lot of inking and distressing, and I just love how the photo pops off the page with the blue background on it. And this would have been February's, and um, again, I changed this around a lot and added stuff, like all the flowers. It's love, and I think she had love written up here. So um, I distressed the edges, and I used red on them. So that's how that turned out. Here's another one. And I think this would have been the Thanksgiving one. But I add a lot. Um, lots of, I added circles. I love circles, guys. I love to use them on my pages. These actually, like the paper's my mind's eye. And this is color block, I think. And then I added this cluster down here. And this is like all my mind's eye stuff. A lot of chipboard pieces. So that's how that turned out. And here is this one, another selfie of me and my little boy. We like to do selfies. <laughs> and I added these, I think these are American Crafts. I added a bunch of these die cuts. And then I added some banners, or pennants, up here. Uh, I added a doily. Up here I have this little cluster. I added some these, whatever they're called. My mind just went blank. And then here, happy memories, and that says selfie. So that's how that turned out. And I think I kept this one kind of true to how she originally designed it. I'm not really sure. I, honestly, I don't remember. But here, she does a lot of fussy cutting. So this was all fussy cut. This was all fussy cut. That was all fussy cut. Um, I just kind of ripped it and added the strips behind it, some paper layers. This is all uh, fussy cut and popped up. And I added the. So that's how that turned out. And I think I have a couple more projects upstairs. Um, so maybe I will do another video later. But two videos in one day is pretty good considering I've only made one in the last couple months. So um, stay tuned. There might be more. But thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.